So the next leg of the journey is a video prompt and this week's video prompt is pause. This week, we thought we'd do something a bit different. So the last two video ones we've done, we thought that we'd do like a, a little sequence. Um, and as you remember, both of them were about a minute long, thereabouts. And this week, we want to focus a lot more on the post-production. And so we're going to film a few clips uh, against the black background, and then we're going to glitch them up and make them look all kind of distorted. So using After Effects and Premiere Pro. At the moment I'm setting up the tripod and we're going back to hands again. Cat really likes hands, don't you Cat? Yeah, it's yeah. easy without having to get ready. What are those? Do you always hear Speed, I am speed. All right, so this week the prompt is pause. It's given by Ethan and Carla. And it's taken me a while. It is now Thursday and I hadn't come up with an idea, but then shower thoughts, boom, they hit me. And I've come up with an idea and I'm so excited about it. I'm probably gonna film it tonight. It's actually, it's a bit of a complex idea and I'm excited because it's gonna test me because it, it's probably not as complicated as I think it will be when I finally finish it and get into the edit. But right now it seems a bit complex. These, these challenges are all about challenging ourselves. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so Carla and I have come up with our idea for this week. It's not what we originally thought, but our whole preface of the video is gonna be, is preface a word? It's a good question, you said it and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if preface is even a word. Our whole idea around the video is gonna be around like pause and look at your relationship and enjoy the time that you have together. So I'm gonna try this effect, which I've done once in a wedding video and it actually looked pretty cool. Um, and it's kind of a, floating Polaroid effect where you're kind of moving through a space and there's all these floating Polaroids kind of all around um, just floating in the air with you know just out of nowhere. If I can get the After Effects part right um, and make everything look realistic then I think it could be really cool. So the plan for tonight is to use our handy dandy cutting mat. Again, like we did the other week for the um, Good As Gold prompt, also leaning it against the TV. We've got our light source here. So we've got a continuous light instead of a speed light like we used last time. And we're going to be, we were gonna be using my hands, but now we're thinking we're gonna use Harry's hands for a more masculine feel. All right, so my goal today, I've got lots to do today, but I did get my computer keyboard. We're actually gonna go up to the Dandenong Ranges and shoot all of our scenes up there because we're actually allowed outside of our 5Ks now. We're allowed up to 15Ks away from our home and we're lucky enough that we live right at the foot um, of the mountains. Right, so we've just arrived. It's perfect weather. <laughs> um, and we're gonna get the drone up first thing. So Ethan's just getting that ready. So we're gonna try and get all that fog on the drone. And yeah, it looks awesome. So hopefully we can Make that good. Quick recap. We set up our light, we put a t-shirt on it because we needed to diffuse it. Got our backdrop all set up and now I'm just kind of rotating my hand really slow. And then we want to kind of make it look like there's rotating. We're going to cut it off here in post and we're going to make it look like the whole thing is rotating. And we're going to try to make it holographic and then put lots of glitch kind of effects through it. And hopefully it'll turn out. It's probably going to be a lot of post production work, but if, it, if we pull it off, it should be good, uh, but don't expect a very long video this week because it's not going to be very long. Camera there. Hand rotating here. Alright, so I'm actually in love with this spot right here. So I'm just going to get our our opening shots here of just Kyla walking down the path. Pretty. All 
All right, so we're just about to go into the dark part of the forest and I'm just getting shots of Kyla walking down the path into it. Um, and I'm gonna try and make the dark part of the forest look really, really dark, almost as she's walking into darkness, I guess. And so I'm just getting like little detail shots of her hand on a tree and her like feet walking and stuff like that. don't actually have too much of a story for this one. We're actually trying to focus more on visuals and effects. Just trying to focus on a bit of a, a different area for this and try out some new stuff. All done. I'm just gonna get a couple more shots of the trees, just in case. Other than that, we're done. It's a wrap. We have just finished putting the first little adjustments on our video and now we're just going through and I need to add some sound design and I think it's looking really good. It's, um, it's definitely different, which is what we were kind of going for this week. I hope that it kind of influences the rest of the group to kind of think outside the box a little bit. I think the last couple of videos have been really cool, but they've all been similar. So I'm hoping that I turned on its head a bit and yeah, it should be really cool. G'day everybody and welcome back to week five uh, this week being a video challenge given to us by Ethan and Kyla and I I can't wait to see what everybody's made up um, just like every week because we just keep getting better and I've already had like I just just seeing like the thumbnail of everybody's videos this week just makes me excited because they look pretty cool so this week Cat and Harry going first so without further ado I'll hand the time to Cat and Harry and uh, oh yes we'll get stuck into their juicy juicy video looking forward to it <laughs> Okay, well, um, I guess a little bit of a preamble is this week we we took the prompt very literally at first and then it just didn't really work. Mm -hmm. uh, and then so we decided that we're just going to flip the whole thing on its head and went for a really abstract thing that is probably different again, <laughs> uh, different again, and it's probably different than what we've what anyone's done. So hopefully you guys like it, but let's just roll it. Cool. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's sick. That's cool. Keeps going. <laughs> that's sick. That is, mm -hmm. that is such a classic. That is such a classic Cat and Harry, <laughs> freaking move going like mega mega abstract with the with the idea. All right, so um, it's my turn now. It's my turn to show oh, my yeah, let's go. little video. So um, uh, the the story essentially the story behind making this video was I was struggling, because we've had a few abstract concepts the last couple of weeks, and they don't always compute with my brain, and I don't think that they <laughs> compute with most people's brains, which is the point, but I was struggling with this one this week, and I was having a shower, and I thought, bang, there's the idea, and so I just went for it. I filmed it immediately after getting out of the shower, not all of it, but um, yeah, it, it's, hopefully you guys understand what's going on. Alrighty, All right. let's go in three, Count us in. two, one, go. Ha ha ha. 
I definitely play on my. I uh, definitely play on humor a lot <laughs> in my videos. It's just where my. It's just where my brain goes to. I just go to. I just go to humor. That's so. The mean king. It, it was so. It's so funny. One of my. One of my best mates' wives once said to me, "While most people are ninety percent water, I'm made up of ninety percent humor." <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the bottle makes up the other 10%. That's right, and the bottle <laughs> makes up the rest of it. Unfortunately, it wasn't this bottle. I had left that bottle somewhere. Side bay. But, yeah, so side bay got a good <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so finally we get to have the finale, which is by Ethan and Kyla, who were kind enough to give us this week's prompt, which we all had such difficulty with. So we're really excited to see what they have put together for us. So Ethan and Kyla take it away um so our original concept um ended up completely changing the day that we were gonna shoot we were like oh we can actually go up to 15 k's now and so we kind of took advantage of that Ooh. um and got outside and shot which was freaking awesome by the way yeah. <laughs> it was so so nice to actually get outside and shoot yeah three two one play <laughs> I do love a good forest. <laughs> Ethan, you are my cinematographer on my next film. <laughs> because what what you do with the camera and it's the comment that I've heard before is you create emotion with the camera and I just think that that's something that is so rare and spectacular. One thing I really loved about yours in particular is that you can see that you've 
thoughtfully planned all of your shots mm. and that made the transitioning and the editing so much easier because we could see like all right this is when the tree pans this is when this mm. whip pan comes through mm. and like it was all so just like meticulous and clearly like that is what you're trying to communicate so that was awesome you did a really good job of that Heck yeah, well, that was awesome. Everybody did an absolutely amazing job. I thought Ethan and Kyla was awesome. Um, but thank you, everybody. That was flippin' unbelievable. It's so cool to see where we're all going. Uh, so make sure that you like and subscribe because the content coming out of this is just gonna get better and better and better. Follow us on all of our socials because fair income, these people are amazing and they're going places and you wanna be along here for the ride. So thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next week. This week, the prompt is contrasting or complementary colors.